Well, I thought it was about time to do another long-term review and this product I have been using for just over three years now and using it extensively as well. It's not one of them products that's kind of in the background and I grab every now and then. I use this 90% of the times that I'm on the bank. And that is the Daiwa Basia Reels. Now, these are the, hang on, let me get this right, the SLD QD 45 Basia. Yeah, I think that's it. There's so many abbreviations with Basias. But yeah, I've had these about three years, so I think they're the 2019 model. And I've used them in a whole host of different situations. <laughs> As you can see, I've got them on nine foot scopes at the moment, which you're probably all screaming saying what's the point that's a waste but we'll come on to that in a minute but yeah i've used them as they should be used as long distance reels and they're perfect they they haven't skipped a beat haven't missed a beat at all so i've used them on three and a half pound distance rods when i was fishing bigger lakes and they like i say absolutely faultless you can i, I was never thinking oh, i can't hit the distances that i want to so and that's with me not being a very good caster as well. So yeah, using them on a long distance set of rods, cannot complain. That's obviously what they're designed to do. They're a super lightweight reel, so it makes it easier to cast some distances, but you've also got all the technology of the 45 millimeter spools and all sorts, which I'm not gonna go into depth now because this is just a, a hands-on long-term review. But if you're looking for a set of distant reels, then it's hard to find fault with them. But I found that I'm doing less and less distance fishing now and more and more fishing on smaller waters. Uh, I'm always changing them between different rods and that sort of thing to suit the venues that I'm, that I'm going to. But one thing that does remain, they are always the reels that I grab. Now I've got a few sets of different reels, but time and time again, I'm grabbing these bases because they are complete all-rounders. The name suggests that they are a long distance reel, but you can use them for absolutely anything. And because they're so light, they can pair really nicely with shorter rods as well, hence why I've got them on these scopes. Now, they probably look massively overkill, but like I say, because of the, I think it's magnesium construction, they are really, really lightweight. So they don't feel too big at all. And it, they just look really cool. There's something about having chunky reels on shorter rods. If you can get them to balance, you're onto a winner. Now these have been well and truly used and abused and obviously I'm on the bank a lot so they've been through various winters with me, they've been through various summers of scorching heat and uh, to be honest I don't think I've ever actually cleaned them which is probably something I shouldn't be admitting. They get cleaned off in the rain, it rains enough in this country so that's uh, yeah like I say they have been abused and actually looking at them they still look in pretty good nick considering what they've been up against. Now, there are little bits of scratches to the paintwork and things like that. You're putting them down on gravel and it's going to cause damage, but that only seems to be on the actual spools themselves, which are painted. I've, there's a little bit along where the, um, the rear actually attaches to the rod, which is flaked back a bit. But considering, like I say, the amount of time they've actually been on the bank and they probably haven't been treated as, as well as they should have been. In terms of the appearance, they still look really good after three years of abuse. And they perform just as well as they did the first day I got them. Like I said, I haven't had them serviced, but the clutch is still super smooth. But just the turn of the handle just feels really smooth. There's no, it doesn't kind of kick back at all. It's just, it stops where you want it to stop. It feels really smooth when you're playing fish, when you're, you know releasing the clutch a little bit on on playing fish so when the fish is lunging it is really smooth so yeah they they look just as near enough as good as they did when i first got them and they perform pretty much as as well as they should do as well even after all this time so i find it hard to think that i need to change them even after three years even if another set of bases came through I don't think I'd be bothered on changing them. I'd probably, I'd probably do the review that I need to do on the new Baziers and send them back. Like, I really like these. They've got a really, really slick design. They're just matte black all over. Just You've got a little Bazier logo just one side. They're really thin, really lightweight. They, yeah, they definitely look the part. And like I say, they've been with me for three years and they're showing no sign of 
of giving up anytime soon. The only, the only issue I do have with one of them, which I think is down to me, is the about every six to eight turns of the handle, it will clip the bail arm. And I think somehow I've managed to bend either the handle or the bail arm at some point during transportation, something like that. I've obviously put something on top of my rod bag and then that's bent it very slightly. And where that's happened, obviously there is scuffing to the black on the bail arm. That's going to happen because it's being knocked by a bit of metal constantly. And if I'm honest, it is really annoying and I do need to get that sorted. Aside from that, mechanically, they are bang on. Now, the only thing I'd want different, and that's just me, is I'd like them to come with the option of folded handles. I know you can buy them separately, but they're not cheap to buy separately. So that's the only, only thing that I'd want if I was to get a new set is, yeah, just the handles to fold in, just so they sit neater on tighter buzz bars. But that's a minimal ask really compared to how good they actually are as reels. So there you go. That is my long-term review of the Daiwa Bays here. QD SLD 45s. I think that's it. Now, if you like this long-term review, make sure you have a look around our channel because we've got loads more long-term reviews probably coming up here somewhere. And uh, yeah, myself, Curly and Ian have all been doing a few long-term reviews. So to give, give you guys a bit more of an insight into how these products actually last over time. So if you want to see them, make sure you subscribe to us as well. Hit the little bell icon so you don't miss any videos and follow us on all our various social media channels as well. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.